What's up, YouTube? We'll be right, back with some more videos. Tape. First thing I wish I'd do is hit that strap. like button, hit that sub button. We're gonna get right into it, man. Here is Bruce Buffer. Umar Nurmagomedov. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Butcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Umar Nurmagomedov. <laughs> Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so he had a big win his last time out. That came by TKO. Now the challenges get stiffer. Round one is underway. We'll see what he can produce for round four here tonight. Mm. Nice leg kick. <laughs> Devastated body kick lands. Look like it's going to Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice double leg, yes. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Try to establish that jab. Back and forth we go. Slips. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. And he connects there. Lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Get down, hands up. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just over three minutes to go. Rips the body there. Landed there by Umar Nurmagomedov. Double leg takedown is true. I need you to move, okay? Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. And another, another strike from the top lands for him. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Trying to establish that jab once again. Lands a strike there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Takedown defense is there. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Very nice leg kick there by Ramago Man. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Big power shot there. Oh, and he lands a yeah. takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively. Oh, Kick hurt. Late kick now. He's starting to pile those up. Look at the stats. Marco Medov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. 
Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Just misses. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big elbow. Hey, dude, that's him. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Magomedov's bleeding from the forehead here a bit. Hopefully, they can get that under control so it doesn't trickle down into his eyes in the next round. I'm skipping it. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Straight right, he misses. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with. He's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That he wins. Great job. Magomedov's really limping now, folks. Looks like the leg kicks are really starting to pay dividends for his opponent. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the gun. He's the man who has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Making all these shots count. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man. I have got to get on the offense from bottom to top to dominant position. What a great job. Good punch, Lance. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm going to take one to give one. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Checks that leg kick. Nice crack there. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. That is how you scramble, folks. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the rest were willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to taking on very early. He's really taking fights, me down. But tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills and it's showing right now. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Went for the inside leg kick. Just a slip there.
Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one oh! Champions keep changing in this division like crazy. I'll fight for the better of the rest. All right, buddy. We're gonna time the shoot and get the takedown. Shoot and get that takedown. Listen, you keep training like that and no one will catch you. Your next opponent is not going to be able to keep up with you. Oh, you look like a champion in there. Job. There we go. That's the position we want. Push! Come on! Push! 
Yes, I like what I saw today. That was some beautiful work. That was nice. I like the way you drove from the hips and exploded into that takedown. Harry Sudo can't okay, beat really me. Gonna tighten it up. Yeah. Here we go. Train to win the belt. Listen, you keep training like that, and no one will catch you. I want to see in your next fight. Great job. the way you master your craft. <laughs> that was nice. I like the way you drove from the hips and exploded into that takedown. Top position. That's where we want to be. So let's hit the mats and work till we get there. That was some good work in there. Again, drillers make killers. Remember, repetition is key, and it always pays off. So let's go. Yes, yes, perfect work. I like that. Keep going. You're following directions perfectly. Great job. Yes, yes. Blowing on top. I like that.
Now that was wrestling one-on-one. Pummel into position, work for the single, get the takedown, nice and simple. Right. I want to see you kill it today. Let's go in there and crush this. Next opponent is not gonna be able to keep up with you. Oh, you look like a champion in there. Okay, this is how we train to win the belt. Yes, just like that. Just like that. Hey, good job today. You really crushed it out there. work. I like it. You stayed heavy on top and controlled your sparring partner with ease. That's exactly what we want to do. I'm fighting all the wrestlers to get my title shot. Okay, on the mats. Wrestling basics. Attack the legs, work for that takedown, and get your opponent to the ground. Sound good? Okay then, let's go. champions train. You're listening perfectly. Nice work.
beautiful work today. You did awesome. I never heard of that. I've never seen this. That's all right. Mm. Good control from bottom. That's the way you keep them off balance. talking about that punch damaged him right power i love it let's go you're following directions perfectly great job move move just like that oh yeah that's how champions train Come on. You dominated today. Good work. Good work with your hands. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. You're starting to fall apart. Yes, yes, yes. What a bruise. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. That punch damaged him. Yes. Let's go.
I'm gonna go ahead and get Henry, Henry out of there. I'm tired, huh? Our tale of the day for this phantom weight fight. You ready? You ready? All right, ready to go for round one, and it's hard not to hook him back to his last appearance. A huge knockout victory for him that set up this particular showcase here tonight. Can he keep the momentum going and register another knockout? His fan base is swelling. He is more popular than ever after a big knockout win his last time out. And so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four or five, six in a row. What a great job. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Notice the drive. Look at how he drives the knee right into the midsection. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range and start. Think about striking. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Wow, nice judo toss for him there. Back and forth we go. And there it is, the uppercut lands. That is nice. He told us that weapon would be there, and he got it right up the gut there on the wrestler. He said he had some things to deter him from level changing. It seems as though he was talking about the uppercut because it, la because it landed, and it landed effectively. Just missed with that right hand. Well, you know about the wrestling chops. You know about the Olympic gold medal, but it's been Henry Cejudo's boxing that has been taken to the next level, and as such, he's established himself as one of the best fighters in the world. Just over three minutes now to go. And now some separation. for the spinning sidekick to the body, but he missed. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating his up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Cejudo's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slump. Makes a perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Nice, Lake. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Oh, he's dead. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Well, so an early lead for him here tonight. He came out aggressively, and that decision has certainly paid off. Good start to round one. Straight punch lands. Both guys appear to land there. Cejudo's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh my god. Oh, how about the judo toss there? It's not as easy as it looks like in the show. Boston 30 second mark in our opening round. Great commitment to the kicking game. Nice combination on the feet and now works it to a takedown. 
Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. He gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round two on the way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Nicely done to the body. Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great combination. Single collar tie. Deep now. He loaded up on that high leg too. So Udo gets the takedown. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar time. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, no surprise to see him. No denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you wanna finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. So Hudo's pass is denied. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. Trying to go to the body. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on a bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Blocking well now to see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. He's setting up the arm bar. Arm is very tight. Oh, he's got some oh somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Beautiful transition. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. So the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> can fall in love with this. He can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. It gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Now he's trying to guillotine. That guillotine is very tight. Good is that? that is phenomenal submission defense.
defense by this young man. Big shot to the head. So who knows knows is just donating blood by the second hit. I'm not so sure that knows isn't broken, DC. Guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh. All right, round three coming up next. Stop. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can right, stay in this ball. fight because that is a severe yeah, cut hard. that he's dealing with right now. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the... You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. <laughs> Oh, that was a great lead left. His opponent was not ready for it. His opponent thought jab. He landed that beautiful straight left hand. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Cejudo's cut Thank is God. getting worse. The cut, man. Oh, he's going to slam him, DC. Oh, man, he got that Whoa. single leg. He got that single leg. He lifted him in the air and put him down. That is some serious power to pick up another man and promptly put him in his place. Big opportunity now for him here on the ground. Punch over the top. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown and... I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upper cut. Oh, beautiful level change. So Hudo's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Now they separate. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that... I wouldn't be surprised to see the referee calling in the doctor at some point. But at some point, you gotta take a look at it. He's so bruised, he's so battered, he's so swollen. And credit to his opponent for finding a route to victory and staying on that. He has dominated this fight. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Oh, he stuns bad. He's gotta grab it. He's gotta recover. DC. I know we don't have open scoring, but correct me if I'm wrong, he needs a submission or he's losing. Great timing on that double leg. Cejudo's pass attempt denied. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Looks like he's got that submission locked in. He's really advancing. Looks like he's going to get finished. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. So the referee has called a halt to the action here, likely to have the doctor come in and look at the swelling around that eye. Not good, DC. You cannot allow these fighters to dictate and determine whether or not they can go. When you have this type of swelling, you got to take a close look to see if the guy can compete. He's taking a close look. Going back to the referee. Looks as though he's going to allow the action to continue. Fans like that decision, but for the compromise... Oh, no, come on. I just need a little bit of time. He's going to take a lot of chances now because he's got to rush. He cannot be as patient as he intended to be with that amount of slow. So Hudo's cut on his nose does not look good. Actually, oh, oh he's wobbling now. Shot there to end the fight. Really 
just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Butcher! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. I like don't know, he had uh, motherfucking cut me. No, I just beat hell, no. He just got knocked out. <laughs> he, can, he can fight me for the belt. Hard work, a lot of technique, and more hard work. That's what wrestling is about. You ready to work? Let's go. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. opponent is gonna be no match for you really impressed with your performance today great job that's it yep 
Keep punching. Keep pounding. More. I got to see more, okay? Also there, you timed that takedown perfectly. Damn, I forgot Figgy and Ben win. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, this is it! This is it! You fighting for the title! You did all the hard work to get here! You trained! You sweat! You bled! You earned it! I don't have any more sage advice! I just got one more question! Whose time is it? It's my time! Nah, 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 fuck that! I didn't hear you! Whose time is it? My time. Whose time is it? It's my time! You hungry? Yeah! Then get out there and fucking eat! Let's go! Well, this young man has put together a serious win streak. He has paid his dues. He has worked his way up the ranks. And as a result, a UFC Bantamweight title fight comes tonight. This is his first UFC championship opportunity. You know title shots are hard to come by, especially at 135 pounds. We'll see if this young man can make the most of it in a matter of moments. Well, it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, 
That's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense. Consummate sticker and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. So the 135-pound division has been owned by this man. He is showing no signs of slowing down, and not unlike some other champions we have, showing new wrinkles with every passing title. Every time he gets to the octagon, he looks better. There's something new. There's something improved about our champion. He's just one of those guys that will never take a day off. He will never allow for someone to be working when he isn't. He's so intent on being dominant that he makes sure that he leaves no stone unturned. Tonight he has done that, and he, is, he, he assures us that he's gonna keep his championship. There were a few guys that could have gotten this title fight. He believes the most worthy opposition got this opportunity. Now the champion's job is to turn him back. Yeah, for real, because they was trying not to give me the title. They were trying to get the title. And that means we are set for our main event of the game. They could have had me up to get the belt. Our tale of the day for this Bantamweight Championship fight. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Davison <laughs> Donegara Figueroa. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. This fight for the UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. The number one contender says, I know there's pressure with me tonight. It is my first championship opportunity in the UFC, but he feels like he's put in the time, not just in the gym, but in the UFC. He doesn't believe the moment will be too big for him. We will find out here in short order. Let's see how it plays out early. All right, nice takedown defense by the boxer on that first attempt by the more well-rounded athlete. He didn't come to the fighter meeting in a singlet, but he... <laughs> <laughs> massive, massive hook land, and his opponent... Damn, hey, my guy hurt, my... That, I don't get hurt like that. That's my first time getting hurt in the first round, too. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. As the fight goes on, you'll see Figueredo pick it up a little bit as he starts to feel uncomfortable. Try to get the big shots off. Everything he throws with absolute power, from his punches to his kicks, just power in everything he does. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. without issue. Great block there. I think that's my first time I got stunned. 
That was. I think that was my first time getting thrown. I don't even remember. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, nice takedown defense. Two minutes to go here in round one. Leg kick. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. Not one misses. Oh! You cannot take too many of those. Big right hand. You got me messed up. Oh! Beautiful combination. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Just out of the range with that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Figueredo's nose is bleeding now, so... <laughs> Davis and Figueredo going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Oh, Second oh. round, straight ahead. Damn, that was the most adver adversity I've faced some in a fight. Now looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, can it I draw? Oh, I can't argue about that. I can't argue about that. But of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly yeah. damaged nose. Yeah, way, Figgy, I'm not worried about well, it. Well, no process tonight. Decent. Both fighters invoking damage on the other piece. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be... Punch no good. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business. Oh, 
you go here. Nice transition from the underhook into the single leg to get a massive takedown. And those slams really go a long way with the judges. Huge authority behind that takedown there. Effective strike there by Figueroa. He's gonna get himself out. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Big uppercut. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out to space. Find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon. Go to the clinch. Find ways to just recover. So that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. Figueredo's cut off. Oh, huge shots being landed on both sides. Down defense holds up. A lot of blood now, and yes, the doctor is going to be called in. The referee pauses the action. His nose is absolutely mangled. It's smashed. He's done a great job of smashing that nose, pushing it back. You see the blood coming down yeah, the face into the mouth. But four, it should not affect him being able to see his opponent in front of him. All right, so the doctor talking to the referee, and it looks as though the fight's going to continue. He's got to go for it now, though. That cut's not going to get any better. It is not going to get any better. Now he's got to take some chances. He's got to go out on the shield, and he's going to go out, because if he gets to the next round, I'm not certain he'll get to go out again. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere, and he can fight everywhere, meaning... He can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. Beautiful diving strike man. from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice kick there by Figueredo. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. All right, back to the schools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, it's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And you ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Figueredo gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Yet another huge kick lands. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, nice. 
bitch. Figueroa's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. But now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. Hmm. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first attack and armbar. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Ooh, this could be the end of the fight. Looks like the fight is over, guys. It's done. The fight is over. Whoa, oh, submission defense. He gets out. On this, in that moment, it looked like the fight was over. He was able to clear his head, put the guy into the mouth. Not a great position, but much better than getting his arm snapped in half from an armbar. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Figueroa's an absolute mess right now. There is blood everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them call in the ringside position between rounds. Great defense by this fighter. Big ground and pound. Still trying to get the submission here. He is fighting for the sub. Oh, another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more of those. No, John, you got a, you got a beautiful submission attempt here. Oh, he's got the armbar deep. Fight on. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. I got a five star chance. He's out of here. You want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Let's go. Holy smokes. Let's go. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really Let's saw it go. coming. So back to yeah, the drawing like board for him. Up, but... but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. The official decision, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 56 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Butcher. Well, there are a few things as exciting in this sport as the crowning of a new UFC champion. Can DC get an invitation to the after party? I mean, I'm just place? trying to show up, baby. Uh -huh. I already got, I'm, I'm already. I want to celebrate with the champ. Hell yeah, yeah, the champ is here. Oh my God, what a fight. I'm the best, I'm the champ. Hell yeah, you are. All the hard work paid off. Man. I just want you to know, I really couldn't have done it without you guys. Nah, I don't know about that. You're a special fighter. Maybe you wouldn't have got here so fast or looked so good doing it, but you always have potential. We couldn't have got here without you either, kid. Ah, oh, that means a lot, coach. Okay, now you're the champ, okay? I didn't plan nothing. We're supposed to have some kind of crazy after party at the club, right? So what are we doing? Huh? We popping bottles, we getting pony rides. Come on, coach. What do you mean? Oh, come on. You didn't plan anything? Again? What we gonna do now? I know, I know, I know. I'm the coach, but guess what? You're the champ, kid! Yeah! I am! Let's go! <laughs> Davis MMA! Woo!